read the little poem. <laughs> I think Chrissy was in grade seven when she wrote it in Hindi. I had seen it before and forgotten about it. But I think God was through in her ear when she was a 13 year old and knew that she was going to marry someone of a different culture. And that we would be a part of that wonderful experience. We're really known to be friendly people in Nova Scotia. And I welcome you all there as family. If you ever come to Nova Scotia, please look us up. We don't have a great big home or anything, but have a great little cottage by the water and a brother that has a fishing boat. <laughs> um, Chrissy is a delightful child. She has always been a delightful child. She knows her own mind. She knows what she wants in life. And she works very, very hard to get it. And when she met Mike, there was a change. But I think we both come from families where our children need the approval of their parents and their families, the people that they marry. And she had known Mike very well. She kind of just met him, I think, before Christmas time. And uh, we were in Arizona for a couple, a little, a little vacation. And when she came down, she said, Mom, I think I, I've really met somebody I'm really, really impressed with. And she was excited to go back to Ottawa. And then she asked, Easter came. And we're very family oriented, but we always have a house full of friends, their friends. And she said, Mom, can I come? Can I come for Easter? And I said, sure, I can come for Easter. And I knew it was a testing ground. <laughs> and I knew he would either fit our crazy family crazy but loving family, or he wouldn't. And I also knew that when I saw them together, the benefit. And Mike just became a legal overnight. <laughs> he enjoyed us so much. He enjoyed hunting for Easter eggs. <laughs> he ran faster than everyone else. And I had to give him hints, go look over there, because it's not yearly tradition and we hide probably a couple hundred eggs all over the place. Outdoors, everywhere. And there was no doubt, there was no doubt that on that weekend was over that they loved each other. They loved each other. They were good to each other. And they had a lot of fun together. Mike is everything I would want my daughter to have for her husband. I have the greatest respect for him. I love him dearly. He hasn't called me mama yet, but I know it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike and Krista, we welcome you. We just pray blessings over your marriage. And we are just delighted to have you all as family. And I really have told every young person I've met that now, get out there and dance with the other side. <laughs> Thank you.
very proud of her. And um, I got some trucking back years ago and had a lot of hair trips in the road, ice and snow. But the year we took her to Newfoundland to Memorial to start her career in pharmacy, leaving that little girl on the rock was the hardest trip I ever made. <laughs> anyway, uh, when she went to live with her and I had a special day together, she came with me and spent the whole Saturday looking at jobs and we picked up special rocks on the beach. <laughs> went on a ferry boat and we had a very beautiful day together. And now we said that we'd have other ones and uh, life was busy. But after she started college and she was home on break, we did get away to Lunenburg and get out on a sailboat for an afternoon and a beautiful dinner together. And uh, I'm very proud of her and I'm very proud of the guy she met when Mike and I first met. We uh, and I hit it off. And Get out the park there, Bill. <laughs> we love Mike. We got our son, and I don't feel that I'm losing the daughter. I'm gaining the son.
you have been the people that have really taught me how to love, and you have been the example for me of how to treat yourself and your family, and um, there's no words to tell you. <laughs> um, how much I love you, and I just want to thank you um, again just for everything. I love you so much I can't explain it. Thank you, Kenton. You are the man. Thank you very much. <laughs> 